whenever I think back about Road Port Rush and about Lynx Golf and, and my development, you know, I always think about that round of golf. Word started to come in that, that something was happening out there, that there was that he was uh, going deeper and deeper under par. I was six under after 11 from, from nowhere pretty much and then the crowd started to swell and the word got about. It just made it look easier right, right at a tough golf course. A member of uh, the golf club phoned me and he told me and I thought it was a joke. No one can shoot 61 round Royal Port Rush. It's such a difficult course. When that came through that day that Rory McIlroy had shot a course record of 61, it was just a jaw-dropping moment. It was like, what? Yeah, an amateur? A 16-year-old has just broken the course record at Royal Port Rush. This kid, not only did he have the talent, but he also had the work ethic as well. And he, he loved the game. He just couldn't wait to get out and play golf. One of the guys, you know, he was a good crack, good, good banter. I always thought if, if he doesn't make it, nobody's going to make it. He always knew where he was in the golf course. He always had a crowd. The club allowed him in as a member when he was eight years of age, which was quite unusual because I think the age requirement was 12. I can remember the first time I saw him hit a golf ball. It was at Hollywood Golf Club and I just thought, wow, you know, this little kid, that remarkable looking, looking golf swing. It was just a kind of almost earth shattering score for a 16 year old to shoot. Uh, you just would never have seen 61 out there. Honestly, there's not many golf rounds that I'll remember every shot, but that day, I do. You know, I remember missing a putt at the first for birdie. Driver six iron onto the middle of the green at the second, and two putted it for birdie. I made a great birdie at the par three sixth. I remember hitting like a, a wedge into the ninth that was playing as a par five at the time. We were getting sort of updates every 15, 20 minutes, you know, just hearing where he was on the golf course. And then I remember there was a funny moment on the 11th tee, the par three down the hill. We were waiting on the group ahead of us to finish out and I saw the guy in front of us fist pump when he held a putt. And I said to my playing partners, I said, why would you be fist pumping on a you know, second day of qualifying in the north of Ireland? And then at that point I was five under for my round and I held a putt on the 11th green to go six under. And out of nowhere I gave it a fist pump. And I remember one of my playing partners on the 12th tee said, you know, what was that you said about fist pumping on the last tee? So, um, but at that point I realised I was doing something pretty special. We got to the, the signature hole of uh, the nice Links uh, Calamity Corner and uh, he made a two there, which is you know, unbelievable. You know, it's probably the toughest part of three in the course. So there was quite a wait on the 17th tee, but I can remember Rory taking himself away off to one side. He kind of knew to stay away from the people, not get distracted. He took himself off way down to the bottom of the tee and was just was having practice swings down there and, uh, you know, keeping himself to himself. I think I probably had caught myself thinking too much about it and I just wanted to go and clear my head a little bit and come back and, and start afresh with the new golf shop. Whenever the fairway was clear, he came back and he hit a fantastic tee shot and he put a long iron down onto the front right hand side of the green for a second shot, two putted that for another birdie to go 10 under. I got to 10 under, I was like, okay, just don't screw this up at the last. You, you can even make bogey and still have the course record. And I hit a perfect drive and a, and a good eight iron into the heart of the green. And honestly, all I was trying to do was two putt from about 20 feet to, and I, I rolled it in. But I guess all my thought, I just wanted to break the course record at that point. I didn't care if it was 63 or 62 or 61. I just wanted to, to, to be the one that had the course record here. And I think that almost freed me up in a way. It's like, okay, I've done my job now, now I can just sort of enjoy the last few holes. You know, as a 16 year old, it takes a lot for your confidence to be dented. You know, I think my confidence is more fragile now than it was back then. The confidence I had and the I guess the cockiness as well at 16. Um, sometimes I think I need to rediscover that a little bit. 61 was just amazing. And it's, uh, it's not too, too often you, you witness something like that on a, on a, on a golf course as, as tough as this. The shoot 61 uh, on that day to me was just unreal and it just lit up the, the golfing world. You hear so often about you know, wonder sports kids and 
they end up never making it. But with Rory, we always heard, you know, there's this really special golfer from, from Hollywood. You want to see this young kid hitting a golf ball. There was something different about him. And I, I can't really quantify it. It's just there was always something different about Rory. He's won four majors and a couple of world golf championships and become this worldwide superstar. You know, but I, I just tend to think of him still uh, as Rory. It'll never be beaten. I think it's a, it's, it's a special round. It was a defining moment. Hopefully the same thing happens again with Portrush. You know, I, I hold the old course record, but I can come here next year in the Open and, and, and break the new course record as well. Thank you.